I'm Gigi Finn. If I look young, it's because I'm 13 years old. But that doesn't mean I'm not a university student, because I am. And it also doesn't mean that I haven't spent the last six years helping save orangutans, because I have. So let's get over the age thing and focus on the palm oil issue. You've probably seen red palm oil for sale on the market, and maybe you've spotted palm oil high on the ingredients list of a popular hazelnut spread. But I'm guessing you don't know much about it, and you're probably surprised to hear it accused of arson and murder. Let's start with the basic information. 85% of the world's palm oil comes from the countries of Indonesia and Malaysia, which contain all of the remaining rainforest habitat of the Bornean, Sumatran, and Tapanuli orangutans. Even though oil palms are an extremely efficient crop, it still takes a lot of room to grow 58 million tons of palm oil. That's how much was exported from Indonesia and Malaysia in 2015 alone. Now, we have to ask, how do these countries have enough room to grow all that palm oil since they contain so much rainforest as well? The answer is that they really don't have much rainforest left because palm oil producers illegally burn down that rainforest to make room for more plantations, killing countless animals and plants who call the rainforest their home and releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. What's more, palm oil plantations are notorious for human rights abuses, promoting such practices as modern slavery and child labor. As if all this wasn't enough, palm oil is also bad for your heart. Now, honestly, it may seem a little strange that I'm accusing palm oil of murder. After all, it's just animals and plants who die in the fires. This brings up something from earlier, the fact that the rainforest destruction is located in the only remaining habitat of the critically endangered orangutan. Orangutans are extremely intelligent, and according to a 2006 paper, second only to humans in learning and problem-solving abilities. Orangutans have been observed to use tools, including leaves and sticks in the wild, and keys and canoes at a research center in Kalimantan. In addition, orangutans actually appear to have culture, as some populations engage in behaviors that are not observed in any other populations. For example, riding pushed over dead trees as they fall to the ground. Avoiding palm oil is not as simple as it sounds. When you're checking ingredients in the grocery store, you might also want to look for palm kernel oil, vitamin A palmitate, stearic acid, satiro alcohol, sodium lauryl sulfate, and linoleic acid. And I haven't really even started. Palm oil is very versatile and many chemicals can be derived from it, which poses a problem when you're going shopping. So one good shortcut is to just look for six groups of letters which almost always indicate palm oil. Glyc, steer, palm, lor, cetal, olay. There are a few exceptions to these rules, but this pretty much covers it. Now you know more about orangutans, deforestation, and palm oil, and you're likely wondering what you can possibly do. As it turns out, there are three ways you can help save the rainforest. Avoiding palm oil, pressing for sustainability, and spreading the word. One person can't do this alone, but if we all work together to end the crimes of palm oil, we can save the rainforest. The orangutans, tigers, rhinos, and elephants, which are losing their lives for an industry that brings deforestation, climate change, and human rights abuses to our dinner table. Join us in our environmental mission because the rainforest is counting on you.